Welcome to Fit for Faith with Jacqueline. I am Jacqueline, and it is day 42 of our 90 Days of Faith and Fitness Challenge. Woo! We're going to start with the Bible verse, then I'm going to give you an action step for your day, and then, oh, it's rest day. So, no wall sit, no plank, stretch it out. Let's get into today's word. verses in Exodus 13 verses 17 through 18. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though that was shorter. For God said if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by the desert road toward the Red Sea. The Israelites went up out of Egypt ready for battle. Amen. So, as you can see by the title, you know, the shortcut isn't always the best route. Going the quicker way, the, the shorter route, the easier way isn't always best. Because if we learned anything from when God led the Israelites out of Egypt, we know that he could have taken them a shortcut through Canaan but if he had there was going to be lots of problems there because they weren't ready to deal with the wrath and risks that Canaan had in store for them so he led them a completely different way that took longer but that longer route not only strengthened them physically mentally but spiritually as well sometimes what God does is he allows us to take the longer route to get to our career path, to get that family, to get those things that we want and need so that he can teach us something through the journey and let us know that it's not always about the destination, but it is about how we get there. You know, what is that saying? It's not about the destination. It's about the journey, I think. I think that's the saying. Um, yeah, it's about that because he's really trying to strengthen us and lead us and guide us and not let it be us doing it on our own strength, our own determination, but through him. And through him isn't always one, two, three. Through him sometimes might be one, two, three years. And yes, it's frustrating, but it grows our patience Yes, it's annoying, but it grows our strength physically, mentally, spiritually, like I said, and better prepares us for that thing that we want and need. So when we get it, not only do we get it, but we know how to deal with it and we know how to take that gift and create even more beauty out of it. That's what God wants for us. That's what he did with the Israelites. Though they were groaning and upset and, oh my gosh, he's taking us through this long way. GPS, come on, man. Guide me. Take me the route that there's no traffic. But hey, maybe he's giving you the route that has traffic because if you go on the route that doesn't have traffic, you might get into a car accident. You know? So take heart and understand that it's all for our good whether it may not look like it right now or it does it is all for our good through him yeah may his will be done whether it takes forever or quickly so for today's action step i have a question for you i wrote it down how might god be strengthening you by letting you take the longer way in life how can you remind yourself to keep trusting in him that's the action step for today. If you write it down, you get your answer, you feel comfortable sharing it, comment down below your answer. I'd love to share with you mine. And okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, be my friend on Facebook, Instagram, all those things. Woo! <laughs> see you tomorrow for date 43.